It's Danger Zone March 2000 here in the flesh within the dwelling and I'm going to talk about what happens on AEW for the August 18th episode of the year 2023 and they started off with a banger. They started off with Ray Phoenix versus Commander, two luchadors that deserve all the respect that is given to them and they start off that match with the great sequence a lot of chain wrestling acrobatics you name it it's there there is this other spot and ironically i was thinking i hope they don't do something where they horribly fall on their neck okay and these two they tend to do a lot of extreme moves but guess what Ray Phoenix, he tries to deliver a Tiger Bomb to Commander, and Commander reverses it with the Frankensteiner. Yes, that's right, I said Frankensteiner, not Herkorana. Well, he does it, and he spikes Ray Phoenix's head. It's driven into the mat. Brutal move. Tries to pin him. Unsuccessful pin. At the end... A lot of false finishes occur, but then Ray Phoenix has the brain to get Commander on top of the third rope on the turnbuckle and gives a variation of the Muscle Buster beating him 1-2-3 and that was the match. Next we got a segment, Renee is interviewing Britt Baker. And the thing is, Britt Baker, she's ready for that match at All In, that Fatal 4-Way. And she is basically talking about how she was at that All In that happened all those years ago, the first one. And how she will get her AW World's Women's title. Johnny TV comes out of this little race car I don't know what you'd call it a street racer car I just call them fart machines because they basically speed up for no apparent reason most obnoxious people I have ever met he on the other hand has a pretty nice car I'm not gonna lie and then he comes out and he's there with his doggo and he basically tells QT Marshall that congrats for winning the, I don't know what, it's called the Latino American title. But next, we have Ozzy open and they face Ethan Page and Zay. And they make short work out of Zay in the end, though they did fight valiantly. Ozzy Open will do that double clothesline, finish it up with the Coriolo, beat Zay 1 2 3. Then they talk trash to Adam Cole and MJF. Next, we have this stupid little segment with a counterfeit Rob Zombie. I've seen this creature before, I saw him in ROH. I think he beat Matt Taven for a title before. That's why I hate this creature so much. And then he's with some other guy and Stu Grayson. Was Stu Grayson not in the Dark Order before? Wow, how the mighty have fallen. Him being in this group of rejects, it's a step down. Jeff and Matt, they are in a segment and they basically want to challenge Ozzy Open. They basically state that they want those ROH titles again and make them once more Ring of the Hardy titles. I didn't know there were champs in ROH, but hey, you know, it's all about learning. Next, we got Sammy and he fights a Ted Cruz clone. Sammy Guevara, he basically finishes this jobber really cleanly. He ends it up with the GTH, pins him and no more Zodiac clone. Finally, we have the main event, and that's Snotty Storm and Ruby Hobo, and they face off, and it's that time again. Mark Henry comes out, and he says, it's time for the main event, and we have Snotty Storm, and she's teaming up with her friend Ruby Hobo, and they face 
the sky is blue, and the noble Hikaru Shida. Tony Storm, I don't know what's wrong with her. I get she has that gimmick. At first, I thought she was going to imitate um, Sherry Martell, but no, she's just being random crazy. It's, it's Anna J. And Athena, they did a, a way better job of doing the gimmick. Hits Sky Blue's head. It's like a ping pong, basically. I see that thing ricochet. Alright? I'm talking about Sky Blue's head, alright? But, Tony Storm, she adds insult to injury and smears her lower behind on the face of Sky Blue. Like if it was bathroom tissue. Eventually, Hikaru Shida, she's in a sticky situation. Ruby Hobo, she tries to give her the no future. Yeah, that's right. She has no future. Hikaru, she's pretty smart. She grabs her leg, puts her in a jackknife pin. One, two, three. It's over like that. Ruby Hobo and the Outcasts, they're not such big fans of that finish. So then they just start attacking poor Sky Blue and Hikaru. Eventually, some of the refs come in. Aubrey's there. Other guy is there. And then all of a sudden, security guards go down. And because these girls, they're, they're out of control. Eventually, Britt Baker, she runs down. She's out of control too. Everybody's out of control because they all want the gold. They all want Hikaru's title. The AEW Women's World title. And I don't know what's going on. This doesn't look so baby faced, but Hikaru just keeps showing off her belt. Like, even if she leaves herself vulnerable to being attacked, she just keeps doing that. I get it. I get you're the champ, Hikaru. I get it. Normally I would be mad at you, but no, you've been such a great champ, and I'm just gonna let it be. All right, yes, favoritism, people, I do it. All right, people, you have a good one. All my haters, if you truly hate me, meet me in the comment section. If you like what I'm doing, share, subscribe, like, comment, all the above. All right, people, you have a good one to all my haters. See you in the comment section.